Hello, and welcome to Night in the Woods, B Part 32. Last time we, uh, we almost died, got shot at, and now we're just gonna keep on rolling. With our long walk. I'm glad this game has the wherewithal to just, like, move the character, like, you know, just black out and move the character a further distance, because, my god, some games just have you walk the whole way, and it's annoying. What are you? Sorry. <clears throat> what are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to be a badass and not saying anything. You get freaking crossbowed. Boom. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Ah, you shot me. And we can do and we can use all and and we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Oh, jeez, B. Uh, uh. You okay? Where did... Yeah. You're such an idiot. What were you thinking, coming out here alone? I, I had a dream. Yeah. You were all dead. Out here in the woods. And it was because of me. Oh, you had a dream. Is that how we're making decisions now? After all that's happened? Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Hey, kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in, here, in there, I believe you. But I'm not going to let you wander off into the woods to die. No, but... <sighs> Okay. We're all in this now. Even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, we all would be. Listen, I'm all in I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure I'm not dying out here. And your God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. Oh, you just sister zoned her. No. I, I don't want you to be alone, to be gone. So you're not dying either. <laughs> that sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do now? Hello, on my guess. You all wait here, or I'll go. Hmm. 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 Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up by the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk me? I... I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go do something really stupid. I can't believe B seriously sister zoned her. Oh my goodness. Gates open. Oh jeez. What? We could like lock it or shut it or something. No oh, dang. You're right. No. He it whatever. It's in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang. Yeah. Also, it's not bad that she sisters under. I just... <laughs> 
I kind of ship the both of them, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. They can be sisters and still, you know, hang out and love being around each other. It's fine. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down here. Just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Uh, they're really walking. Ugh. I could never go into a mine. Never. Like, creepy haunted mines are totally not my thing. Ooh, how about don't fall? Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming from a mile away. Sure we want to do this? Yeah, May, are you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I... I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay, then. We'll come out of this together. Ooh, that thing's old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure. I cannot be in the brochure. Well, here we are. <laughs> May, are you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like... Something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that cigarette's fake. Yeah. B's been trying to quit all that time. Man, the fucking galaxy. Just. Ugh. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. To the hole at the center of everything. Let's go. Look at that star. Oof. What's how's May gonna comment on that? Ah, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through here. Oh, okay, so she doesn't mention the star since I missed those those goth kids the first time. It's funny. Into the dark. Oh. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. 
And there you go. There they are. They're right there. I'm going to kill them. I, you will do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It's a bad call. Sorry. Uh, it's okay? Didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the- who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. The, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All you, all of you are part of this town. My family or relation or just being hard workers. Contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave. Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not going to let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having much say in whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, so you think that I'd... He kidnaps that kid at Harfest! He's bit in my head somehow! I'm always tired! Constant headaches! He's been following me! Following all of us! He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I felt it. Was that Scudder or Jim Dorney who found it? Twenty years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Best Schumacher, last supervisor. Was out here when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initials and date into the door. Then you got this old mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big ol' copper. Big hole copper. Abandoned. Shoot. Long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be uh, to be right above where we were standing. But what water but that water dried up. Nineteen ninety two or some men from West Mine. Come back here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator. Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal. Just dug deeper and deeper. Tell Ed bust through that wall that finds this place. Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits the bottom. Ed calls down to him. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. So what brought you here? Wait. What is it? So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our tax dollars on lazy people and immigrants. We worked while we worked ourselves to death. Uh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. Prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. 
He had the glimmer. The glimmer? When he takes a shine into. Rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us all into this. After that first time, after we picked that first one. Well. Not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were the we were getting younger, and money came too. Still, few of us left from back then. Picked? First time. Picked? First one was Tom Turner, who believed who believed who believed you and me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here. In the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the fields. You throw them in a hole? <laughs> They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, delinquents. You've been... Oh god. Oh no. How many people have died down here? No, I'd say... Three dozen, give or take. Thirty-nine. I'm the only one keeping a steady count. This person's counting. Oh my god. I do now. Early on, I think we all wanted to forget. I still got a heart, got a feeling heart. It still hurts. Yeah, that dirt bag. Fr uh, that, yeah, that dirt bag kid from the spring. C C Casey, the Hartley kid. Nolly was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad was a rap sheet a mile long before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You... You killed Casey. Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin. Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You, you killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and his whole town and this whole town a favor? Oh God, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up wand posters. Maybe you should have cared more about. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. Alright now. Throw it down or I sh will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods. At night, basic safety. I, I throw it down, son. Don't make this our time, Greg. Dang it! You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We're not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can't get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. 
old mills puff and smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stuck stocking shelves at a grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. There's no opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster? A job becoming a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground? But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. going to die down here. Why are you telling us all of this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're long gone. Really? So you're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now? Financially, like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Why shouldn't we just call the cops? And say... What? You saw some men you can't identify? In an abandoned mine behind a locked gate? And an elevator that won't run? That you saw... A hole? Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if no one does this here, to, no one is here to do this. You remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010. That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've... I've seen it. And I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So, can we leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are. Out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave. I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ide. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Ide, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, seriously, let's get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I, I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. Great. Bunch of old fogies. I have no idea of what to even think about any of this. It's just a horror. It's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like... Everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Alright, let's do it. Old, old stuff in here. It's all relics of the past in there, even those people.
no use to them. Okay, I'm gonna put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I. Yeah. And for what? I. I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right now, but. Like. They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had happened a long time ago. Or how they remember or like picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep. Sorry. Wait. Everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Ah! Ugh. 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 Come on, keep kicking, keep kicking. Ugh. Holy shit. Is everyone okay? May! May, are you okay? May, say something! <laughs> May? Okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, are we gonna how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not gonna suffocate. Okay. Well that's a relief. How do you I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. He probably licked his finger and then raised it up in the in the air. You'll if wherever the breeze is coming from, that's where you got it. Hey, Angus. Yeah. I love you. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is. Weird. <laughs> that was like the third time in two days? Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming back from back here. Alright, uh, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I can I can walk at least. It's boarded up long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. <sighs> With her little arms. <laughs> I'm gonna take the top piece. Okay, <laughs> that's funny as hell. I tried to take the top piece, I still just took that one. <laughs> Yep. Alright, that's some fresh air, alright. <laughs> and water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not just a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. Run a mine. Right. Uh, are you seriously gonna walk past May? Give her a second.
Yeah, y'all need to... Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the in a, a one foot of water. Right. I love that May is just gonna go first. May you tiny, don't be the first one to do it. No! I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over was over long before I got here. So long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off. And everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something. At least... <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something. At least. You can't understand the language of the gods. You know I can't understand you, right? I will rip your fucking everything out and spew it all over the world. Blah, 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 whatever. Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang in there for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over there. Do you smell did you smell that? I bet he did. Let's leave it behind. Remember to hold on to anything. What is this? Might be a vent or something. <clears throat> Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. This looks old enough at least. Hmm? Brochure. Hello? We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get a could get lucky and someone's up there. Oh, out there in the woods tonight. I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. No. 
But that doesn't really matter. Because I'm even less up for uh, starving to death. No, dude. Thanks, man. That's very nice of you. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you have to fucking walk it. I forgot. You can't even just, like, run up. Hmm. I love that every step you go, like... This is such a great soundtrack. I have to say. And it just ends, what the heck? <laughs> the one arm. <laughs> oh my god. I love that animation. This place... Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you even doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting us some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods. <laughs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. <clears throat> You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Dude is literally gonna cause a cave-in, and that's just fine. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave in. That was self defense. I guess, but we did cause the death of like a dozen guys. They killed 39 people. Like they are, they'd already killed 39 people. It's kind of an equilibrium at that point. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would <laughs> I love that every time. Oh my god, I was trying not to laugh early. I would have. Uh, what? They killed, they like killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. 
I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. Huh. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Oh. Okay, I'll explain that if we keep walking. The trolley thing. Hey guys, uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us has for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work just as hard as you want, but... The universe is going to keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all of this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. And it's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I don't appreciate that. LOL. I don't know if I'm going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. V, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could fix them, if I could, I could fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm not what you got. And I'm glad. And there, yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh, but I'm what you got, okay. Oh, shit. Hi, guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. Really tired, I don't know what I'm saying. Log off me. Log off! <laughs> Oof. At the end of fucking everything, we get up and put our boots on. Ugh. Shapes. Mayday. BB. Boy, message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. LOL. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snowkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Since we're all alive, yeah. 
Oh, there, service. Snow in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? Oh, boy. Sorry. Bye, Sharkle. All right. Uh, that's where we're going to go ahead and end this. Um, it's crazy. Next episode, we will be saying goodbye to Possum Springs completely. Not like the first time where I said goodbye to Possum Springs through Greg's view. We are leaving this world entirely. And I got a lot of mixed feelings on that, so we'll see how that all goes down. But if you liked this video, go ahead and let me know. You know exactly what you need to do. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, whatever time of day it is. It's night for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and close out and do the last episode tomorrow. And uh, just remember that I, Peanut, love every single one of you. And thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it all of that. So, have a good one. Goodbye!